So here we have the tool. Uh, this is the tool that will come with, and the cable uh, is a male-to-male -male cord hooked to a portable battery pack. A lot of you guys probably have this for your phone already. Uh, while we have this set up, I have an old EEV. Uh, this is a Fujikoki uh, motor that I had from previous job that got the wiring was cut and so I just kept it and I'm going to show you here how it operates. So you take the red pinned pin here and then you're going to go to the red wire side of the EEV here. I'm going to do that really quick. And then once you get it plugged in on this particular valve, as the stem goes inward, the valve is opening. I'm sorry, the valve is closing. As it goes uh, outward, the valve is opening. So what you do is you power up your EEV, mate. The digital display is gonna tell you how many, how many steps or how many pulses you have driven the motor to allow you to keep track of what you have done. That way, in case you can turn it back. The features of it are you have your display here and then you have the lever that will operate the valve either uh, inward or outward. Now you do need to uh, verify the style of valve. This particular valve will operate differently than the uh, style that slides over a, a male stem. So in this case, we're gonna, uh, the two modes of operation here are uh, regular speed which is just strictly up and down. And as you can tell that it moves very, very slowly, so much so that you might not be able to notice that it's moving. Or if you're going to operate it quickly, you push and hold the red button down and then you will go ahead and move up and that will operate the valve here. And then you operate it the other way and then your display will represent how far open you have moved it. Or how close you have moved it. So uh, give me a minute. I'm going to take this part and then I'm going to hook up to it. But I still have uh, refrigerant gauges hooked up to it and we'll check and see how it works.